going to finish up this uh, little uh, tap lock thing and the first step of hinges. So we don't want none of these silly store-bought hinges. So that means we need to make our own. Found a piece of flat bar here that looks like I used for a paint stir before. I welded together just two 8mm bolts and we'll use that to bend the hinges. So I put those bolts here in the vise and I'm going to put this flat bar through like this. See if I can do this with one hand while filming. And then I'm going to go as smoothly as I can wrap it around. So just something like this. Of course, first you have to open it up. Oh, that's not very good. Yeah, that one's quite a bit tighter. So now I'll put a bolt in there, slide the bolt in, and then pound it to get it even nicer. So something like this. I'm not going to pound harder. I'll drop this camera, but just hitting that in there to tighten it up. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now I'll just weld that together. And for that, I'm going to turn on the, the stick mode here. I put the stinger in and flip this to arc. Put it up to about oh, 90 or so. I'm using uh, 3 30 seconds, 2.5 millimeter rod. And as best I can while filming with one hand, I'm going to put a line of weld down here. Something like that. Now I'll just knock the bolt out and I'll cut it off right here. Four uh, hinges here that will connect together using, uh, oh that's hot, eight millimeter bolts, two on top, two on bottom, and I just need to clean them up and bend them the right way. All right, there we have the hinges. Not perfect, and, but I'm a recovering perfectionist like my father, so I'm not gonna redo that one that is all bent. I'm just gonna weld those in place and then we can drill the hole for the pipe. Back to TIG. Just switch it over. I'm just going to use the switch on the torch and I'm going to put the down slope way up so I can kind of use it um, like a foot pedal. If it starts getting too hot, I can shut it off. I'm going to put it on 4T. So I press the button to start, press the button to stop, bring this down to maybe about 30 amps or so. No, I need more power than that. Let me try around 50. And I turned the down slope a little bit down so it doesn't take so long to go off. Okay, so I got those tacks. Let's just see. Make sure that this actually opens. Oh, good. It opens. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go across some weld these now after tacking them. There's that weld right there, and we've got to finish the rest of them. Well, it ain't that pretty, but it's good enough. So now we need to figure out the, the closing mechanism on this side. Um, how about some of this? If I cut off a little tab, put one on this side, one on this side, drill the hole through, and put the lock to hang down like that. Okay, just checking... Yeah, a little over seven and a half, something like that. I'll weld those in place and then uh, drill the hole. Okay, that should just hopefully just slide in there. This goes like that. Now just the hole in the back for the pipe. We should be done. My one-inch hole saw. I did a stupid thing and tried to cut a hole through a grinding wheel. It got all messed up and I tried to sharpen it. It's a little bit wacky, but hopefully it'll work.
Okay, so from here we just gotta cut this out so that it can close on the pipe. And we'll Just a little too tight. Can't quite get that bottom one in. Okay, I got that bottom bottom pin in. It looks good. And there it is. A tap that's locked up away from Crying kids turning it on and wrecking it. Putting a little bit of red oxide primer on it and calling it job done. Look at that, there they are painted up. No, sang and tire. Uh, and that's a wrap. A lot of fun doing some practice with TIG welding. Hopefully, you didn't mind watching me bumble around. And I think the village only needs about a hundred of these tap locks. And considering that one took probably mm, four hours or so, maybe I can do it in three. Let's say 300 hours. That's a long time. I'm not going to make them all. <laughs>